Prowl. With me on the show today, a guest who knows a lot about high-profile cases. He's joining us from Florida this morning, celebrity civil litigator, attorney John M. Phillips. He's also Tiger King's attorney. Uh, John, good morning to you. Wonderful to see you. Good morning, Julie. Love the new format. Love the new show. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I love having you on the show, my friend. It's always great to talk with you. You always have great insight. And, you know, some folks in our newsroom have been asking, by the way, what's going on with Tiger King? And I said, you know what? We've got John Phillips on tomorrow as our legal analyst guest. Uh, so before we get into Koberger, any updates on Tiger King, John? So where we all left off during COVID is there were eight episodes of this crazy show, Tiger King, and Joe was in federal prison on a murder for hire charge set up by some of the characters of the show, the people in Joe's life. And after that, I got hired and boy, is it crazier than what we even saw in the show. There was a brief <laughs> season two of the show. We filed a motion for new trial challenging the evidence, challenging how witnesses lied and and teamed up to extort other witnesses. And that motion is still pending in federal court. We're about to oh, have wow. to take it up to the next level to force the judge to hear the motion, hopefully have an, hopefully have an evidentiary hearing. But as you know, federal judges sometimes just sit on things. And so we're mm -hmm. we're kind of stuck of, of whether we need to go get a writ um, or, or pursue it, uh, you know, in a, in a, in a higher level. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is big, John. You just, so that motion for a new trial, it's still pending. So he could get a new trial potentially. Uh, that, that's big it, stuff. It, we're talking, you know, hundreds of pages of evidence because of season two of Tiger King filming the, the, the other people, Jeff Lowe, uh, James Garretson, all of the other folks, actually handed over their cell phones. Uh, wow. And on some of those phones were recorded calls where, where even during trial, they were communicating with each other. They were taking payments from producers of Tiger King. You know, they, they were just throwing off. I know we're going to talk about cameras in the courtroom. Right. They were throwing off how TV and, and court are supposed to work and the exclusionary rule, mm -hmm. um, all while revealing uh, incentive to lie and, 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 you know, set up and, right. and it, it's, it's a saucy 200 page motion that just needs to be heard. Wow. You know, and, and I don't know, I've never spoken to your client, uh, Mr. Maldonado passage, but if I had to venture, I guess I'd bet he'd want cameras in his trial to let the world see what's going on. Uh, so John, let me.